Hello everyone, I'm Raf and welcome to another video of my YouTube channel. So in this opportunity, if you are an agency owner, if you work with a bunch of developers or web designers, or you just have people that work for you and you don't want to give them your elementary credentials, this video is for you. So as many of you know, in the past, you could have the option to activate Elementor manually with a key. So uh, in recent versions, they delete that option. I don't know why. So and this is something that is, I've been struggling for a while because I have like my Elementor credentials and I also have my affiliate account there. So it's complicated because I didn't want to give that information to people. I mean, like, like I used to like, um, I'm used to hire people for WordPress development because I have an agency. So uh, it's it's kind of tricky because I used to have to go there in every site and activate my myself. So always thinking that they probably could go to my, you know, um, to my access or maybe even get my license to do whatever, you know, many things. So uh, after I discovered this, uh, I thought that this could be helpful for you as well. So I'm gonna show you that it's really simple. All you have to do is just go into your Elementor dashboard here. Obviously, this is an uh, this is an image, but uh, you just have to go here uh, on your dashboard to subscriptions, and then you will see your Elementor um, uh, profile here. You click there, and you will see the license key. And obviously, you have to copy this, and then you have just to copy a piece of content in the URL just to make the activation. So, basically, what we have to do is just go here to our um, editor here so uh, what we have to do is just um, copy this uh, piece of content to the URL and it will be at the end uh, the result is going to be something like this uh, it's gonna be your domain uh, .com or whatever slash and then the rest of the URL so I'm gonna do that right now which is this I'm gonna leave you um, this in the description so you can use uh, for your purposes and here just copy go to your browser and then here, this is a site that I have um, uh, where I'm gonna have the activation. So uh, to do this, you have to go here to Elementor in the right side, in the left side, sorry, and then go to license. And here you will have the option to activate if you haven't done this um, before. So usually when you click here, it will prompt to, um, to have your uh, Elementor credentials. So in this case, we are not gonna do that. So what we have to do is just go here uh, in the URL and here we're gonna just delete this and just gonna paste uh, the, the piece of content that I just copied from the, the file. So all I have to do is just go here and uh, hit enter and it will enable this option here where you can put your, um, your license. So what I'm gonna do is just copy my license and going back again just so you can see how it works. Okay, so after you activate the license, I mean, after you click the button activate, you will see something like this, which means that your site is uh, totally active. So um, this is all you need to do. Uh, the one thing that I saw is that every time that Elementor comes with an update, you will have to uh, literally go here to um, the plugin sections and then upload the new version that you download from your um, from your dashboard in this section here you will see a, a download button uh, you have to download every time uh, if you want to keep the sites the sites updated that's the only thing that i um, just saw but anyways this works uh, at least this is going to work for a while um, if you watch this in the future so if you like this video um, please um, just hit a like button share uh, just to uh, uh, make this get to more people and thank you and see you in our video. Thank you. Bye-bye